questions surround the death of Kiara Durkin. The soldier from Quincy died at Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan, a single bullet to the head. Both in Ireland and in the United States, family members are pressing the military for answers. The family commissioned a second autopsy on the body Sunday and met with military investigators from West Point last week. Durkin, age 30, worked in a finance unit on the base and told family members last month that she had come across some information that troubled her and that she had made some enemies by talking about it. She told her family to investigate if anything happened to her. In Afghanistan since February, Durkin's tour would have ended next February. She died September 28th. Army officials are investigating as if Durkin was murdered, but are stopping short of calling it a homicide investigation. Senator John Kerry has arranged a publicist for the family to help them deal with the crush of local and national media attention. Durkin, who served with the rank of specialist, has been promoted since her death to corporal. Durkin is the third Massachusetts woman and the first on the South Shore to be killed in Iraq or Afghanistan. A total of 3,802 American soldiers so far have lost their lives. A funeral for Durkin was held Saturday at a jammed Quincy church. She was rem remembered for her smile, wit, and mischief, and relatives recalled how she self selflessly helped others, at home and while serving abroad. Durkin's family lived in Connemara County, Galway, until Kira was nine. She returned every summer to visit her sister. The Durkin family moved to Dorchester in 1986, but in spirit, they never really left Ireland, Irish reporters said. After learning of the death, her sister, Annie Durkin, wrote a poem, which she read twice, first in Gaelic, to hundreds attending the funeral mass Saturday at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Quincy. Seasons to seasons bid farewell. Time is natural as the oceans swell. But what is natural in a war unfair that stole our cure with the wild red hair? Some of Durkin's ashes will be buried with her father in Ireland. Some will be buried in Quincy where she lived, and some in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Devine, 726 Finance Battalion Commander, in a letter read during the Mass described Durkin as a go-to person on the base, ready for every mission. A huge void is left in all our hearts. Words seem so inadequate, he wrote.